Well, good afternoon, ladies and gents, and boys and girls. It's another nice day outside. It was comfortable earlier, but uh, the sun wasn't out, so... But I'm actually comfortable up here. I've actually got the fan on its lowest setting at the moment. Um... I have been around town, but didn't actually come back with much. I've left some items down on the bike because I didn't have enough hands. And that was just a, a USB mouse and a couple of audio tapes. I did find in one of the charity shops some records. 50p each, so I grabbed three of those. They're down in the shed. I'll bring those up later. Um, the mouse and the two audio tapes came from all sorts, as did this little radio and that little camera, um, which I got to fire up once on a pair of brand new batteries, but then it just turned off and hasn't fired up since. So I've got some rechargeables on charge. One, because I'll need a pair for this, and for this camera. And two, I want to try a pair in here. Um, <clears throat> now, this is an international radio receiver. Um, and at first I thought, you know, maybe it picks up radio stations from around the world. But no, I think what that means is I could use this say, in another country and pick up their radio stations on the FM frequency. Um, it does work. I've got batteries in it. It takes um, four AA batteries. But it, oddly enough, there is nowhere to plug an external power source into this. It's batteries only. Well, I haven't found anything on here. It's got a carry handle. It's got a fold-down antenna ideal for camping as well. Uh, volume doubles up as your on-off switch. Just to prove it does work. It's not going to get a signal because I haven't got the antenna up. Tuning, that's it. It's simply just on-off and volume and tuning. That is it. It's really simple and I think it actually looks rather nice. I like the design of that. But I paid a fiver for everything. As far as I know that camera does actually work, but I don't think it's going to be as good quality as the one I'm currently using. Um, it's a Fujifilm Finepix A405. I don't know what the megapixels is of this one, but if it's uh, less than 14 megapixels, then yes, it will be worse than this one, because this is a 14 megapixel camera. And I've got all the settings set high as possible, and the highest settings for the best quality. Which is probably why, one, this thing chews through the batteries, and two, it chews through storage space on the memory cards. SD cards. Well, at least now, I won't have to uh, <laughs> worry about not having any entertainment up here if power goes off again, as it has, sometimes does, not frequently, but we have had power outages on this road every once in a while. I don't know why, it always seems to be this road. <laughs> but, uh, at least I'll have a radio I can put on for some, you know, some background music, because when your power goes off, it's amazing how quiet everything goes, because there's no background noise, is there? There's no hum from a refrigerator, there's no PC hum from the fans and the PC, etc. It just goes spookily quiet, and I don't like that. Never know. Might find something at the car boot as well, might find something old. I wouldn't mind finding a little old radio like that. Car boots are probably the better place to get things like that from. Um, 
mostly because you would probably pick them up cheaper. If you could find a store where people are just clearing out junk and don't really care what they get for things. Um, I've had a look at Black Records, no speakers. No speakers to be found anyway. <laughs> no surprise, really. Um, so I'll have a look at the car boot tomorrow. Again, probably my better option anyway. And I was going to go out and get some Lego, but at this particular car boot, there is usually a stall there that sells nothing but Lego. So I'm going to stave off from buying anything else unless it's something to eat until tomorrow. And I'll probably do all this and then find out it's going to piss down with rain and there won't be no car boot on at all. Right, I need to go to Sainsbury's at some point this afternoon for need cat litter, some cat food from Lidl, some more Coca-Colas. Not sure if I'm going to see Mother, because uh, she can't, couldn't remember what time she was working until. It was an 8 o'clock start. But she didn't know she was doing a full day, 8 till 12, or 8 till 2. And, uh, I don't know. I want to go and have a look at Roy's for something. I can't remember what it was. Was it Roy's or was it QD's? It might have been QD's, actually. That'll come to me later when I'm outside. Nemo's wanting food. Well, he's got food in his dish, he's got biscuits, but he likes his meat. So he's going to keep bugging me until I go and get him some meat from Liddles and put it in his dish. But I don't like doing that in this heat because uh, it doesn't last very long before it goes all dry and manky and horrible. <laughs> right. I think my t shirt is over there. I might need to answer the call of nature before I go back outside. Um, oh, that's what I was going to do. Before I put these, so I took the batteries out and charged them. I'm not doing that again because it is a bit awkward. You can actually change the batteries on these, but like I said, they're a bit bloody awkward. I was going to put these in the window. Um, I don't know what happened. I'm guessing my charge has got a thermal cutout on it. Because I left them on charge overnight because the lights didn't go green. And I, when I come through this morning, the red LEDs were flashing and the batteries were stone cold. So I'm guessing... Okay, that's got like a thermal cutout on it, so if they get too hot, it'll cut off. So, it's quite a decent little charger, I like it. That's definitely worth the two quid I paid for it. Did you get two quid for that one, or was it a quid? No, I think it was a pound for that one, and two pounds for the other one, because it came with the batteries. Or was it that one that came with the batteries? Oh, I can't bloody remember. One of them came with batteries and was two pounds, and one of them was a pound, so... <laughs> it's actually getting too hot. I can keep my hand on it. Sometimes this thing gets bloody hot. Um, the green and white battery should charge up first before the um, Tronic ones, because uh, I'll put the Tronic ones in I know, about an hour after, so... You'll see the batteries for those solar lights still work. I've put them in, they light up nicely. So I'm guessing they just uh, got a little bit too hot and cut out. Right. I've actually got some batteries here missing. <laughs> um, I'll bring my recycle bin back upstairs because I've emptied that. Empty bottles to rinse out and put in the recycle bin and all sorts of shit. I've got that paper shredder top down there. I think I might just uh, ditch it. Can't be bothered with it. But, <laughs> excuse me. 
and that stereo is going to be far more interesting than a bloody paper shredder head. And I've already done one of those, anyway. I know there's not a lot in them. There's a motor, and an on-off switch, and a little bit of circuitry, and that's it. <laughs> there really isn't anything that interesting in a shredder. A paper shredder, that is. Um, I was just thinking, and make well, thinking or trying to remember, or I don't even know what the fuck I'm talking about at the minute. So on that note, I'm going to turn the camera off before I make an even bigger ass of myself. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I might, I'm going to have a little bit of a tidy up in here as well. I started in the kitchen last night. Look at this. I don't know why, but I started washing up at like 1 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I've got a sink of glasses just to finish off, and I've got that lot to put away. I usually let stuff like this drip dry on the draining board, but glasses I don't because they go streaky if you leave them to drip dry. Been there, done that. Okay, what the the fucking crisp or something in the glass. Right. <laughs> Alright then. <laughs> Whatever. Now I know I've got to remember what knives you go up there, but I'll just look at the handles and things. So I think before I disappear out, I'm going to get that done, that put, well, that put away, that lot done, and another sink load in. I've got all the carrier bags bagged up to go to mum, she can have those. Ah, I must remember bin sacks, I haven't got any, that's my last one. Fuck off, flies. You have a very short lifespan in my house. I was a little bit disgusted with myself as well last night because I moved everything off of here, not realising that hidden there was an upside down cat food tin. Yes, where that mess is, and uh, the tin was full of maggots. It's now well, I filled it full of hot boiling water to kill the maggots. So I've now got to dispose of that. Oh, that was disgusting. I honestly just didn't know it was there because I'd just come in, you know, with my rubbish sacks and threw them on here and just totally forgot about it. But, uh, yeah, that was disgusting and something I'm not proud of. I'm not really proud of this kitchen anyway. Anyway, I'm going to shut the camera off, get on with this. I might just go and have a wander around Lidl's and whatnot and uh, come home. And, uh, I don't know what I'll do from there. Right, well, uh, Mum's been gone, we've been round town, I've got a few bits in, such as the cola. But there's also something hiding right there. What have I got there? <coughs> I'll show you in a minute. <laughs> right, the batteries are charged, so I've got to try them in this camera. I'm going to try the Tronics.
matter from them, so we'll try the other two. I'm starting to wonder if there's another issue here somewhere. No, it now seems to be absolutely dead. remember how this one goes back. Uh, I don't think I'll need to remember. Put that one on, put that one oscillate. Right. Flimsy like the metal that's gonna bend. 
friend of Eve the Edible. <coughs> Let me see. Get this done, and I want to pop across to QD. But, uh, once I've got this up, and I know it's all working fine and as it should do, I can get rid of the chair that you're currently sitting on. Want to go as fast as my little arms can go. One more. Uh, well, one more of these feet, anyway. I've still not found any screws. I don't think this thing screws together. I think the only part that's threaded is the um, part for the actual fan blade. Yeah. It looks like all I've got to do is push these into there. But, uh, instead of go ahead and force things, let's pull the grills out. Got the fan blade there, nice plastic one. There's a tiny little nut and a bolt in here, in this bag. Takes to the instructions, that's a good idea. Very good idea. And there's a bit for the fan blades. There's the instructions. Right. 16 inch tall, electrical safety, blah 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 blah, I don't need to do that. I've got absolutely no freaking idea. Oh! Yeah, dude. That's to hold both halves of the cage together. But it does look like it's just... Yep. They just push in there. Actually, that's quite a tight fit. I'm impressed. I don't know how long it'll stay like this, you know. There we go. Usually there's like a nut and a bolt that go through these to hold them in place, but uh, this one, they just push together. Right, what I'm going to do. Make a bit of room on the floor. Here's the fan cage. You seem to have a piece missing. anyway because the pictures to show you what to do are very small. Right. Not too tight, don't want to over tighten anything. 
Um, next, working from this. how the motor section went on here. You can adjust the height with that. So you hit the bar up. Oh, I see. I'm going to do the screw. Somewhere, we're getting somewhere. Do that. All I've got to do is put the back part of the cage on. It is. My other one was um, uh, brand name. And uh, this is the motor section of it is a, pretty much exactly the same. But my other one was a lot older. How am I going to get that fucker off of there? And that damage in the cable. Like that. Right. So, the cable on back part of the cage anyway. And that goes on. Does it actually matter how it goes on? Is there a certain I thought that would have gone that way on. Yes, there we go. And you've got the four or well, the three four catchers here. One two, three, four, and then that little bit there that you just sit the front part of the grill into. That usually goes at the bottom. And there is a couple of holes in here to mark so you can access the screws. I don't know why, because... Well, I suppose that would allow you to take that back part off behind this cage as well without having to take the cage off. And that's next. <coughs> show you what the little nut and bolt is for in a minute. And lay it on. Now this is probably the first thread. I've got a funny feeling I'm going to have to go... Is it reverse thread? It is. It's actually got arrows on it as well, for, and a little padlock, and the word Titan. Right. Makes sense to open the four catches first, doesn't it? So, that sits like that, in there. And all we've got to do is push these down, and do that. another one of those, so you get a spare one. 
point to that for a moment. So that means I've got some liners. I suppose, I suppose it's like a extra security measure so the cage doesn't fall off. Let's just get this bloody blue thing off out of the way. now of plugging the damn thing in and see if it works. I like can move that, put my chair over there and I've got an extra fan there. I could actually probably sit that one up there so I'm going to keep moving fans around now. £20 from Sainsbury's. It's a Sainsbury's own brand. <coughs> Three speed stop. Speeds. <coughs> My old one had a little LED light on it as well. Um, just to save me getting up to plug it in to try it. And as with most British plugs, you always get one of these. You buy a brand new appliance and one of these. Oh, it's only fitted with a 3 amp fuse. Right, plug her in. Holy fudge, that's blowing some wind off it. They're working. No knocks or squeaks or anything. I've just got this shit to clean up. I've got recycling to go downstairs, but, uh... Uh... Do I, should I keep that box? It's tested, it's working. I don't know. Ah, you son of a bitch. Right. Yeah. With British plugs you always get a little wiring thing with it. So there's no excuse not to wire a plug properly. Unless you're completely stupid or lazy. <coughs> right. Shut the camera off. I've got some rubbish to pick up. Uh, actually, I'll finish my drink and then I'll pick up some rubbish that's in here. Uh, I'll have a wander across to QDs. We'll ride around to QDs, one or the other. Uh, I think I'll end the video here because uh, I'm not doing a lot. No, actually I won't. I'll get some stuff sorted in the bedroom first, so I'll talk to you in a little while. Right. I've been a bit of a busy chappy this afternoon. It's nearly ten o'clock. I'm getting hungry, so I'm going to make myself something to eat in a minute. I cleared up all that lot of trying to enter a carrier bag for, for the time being. Um, some of this I might actually bag up and take with me tomorrow and take it to Mum's. Um, I've also got the red pair of forks out of the shed because uh, I've got a feeling we'll go from the car boot to mum's. So um, I'll take the forks with me and I'll see if I can straighten them. Uh, so yeah, I've got a bit of a sort out in here. Started in here. Um, you can see the bike is actually gone. 
because it's in here. Let's up this corner because I've cleared all of that. Got my chair up this corner so I can actually sit up here and play games now. Now that I've got the chair where I want it. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that lamp yet. I could stick it on free cycle or something, you know, free to a good home. I would pay a lot for it, so... Uh, definitely going to keep this one to modify. Got some records over here, I've brought those up. That one's a party sort of one, so I've got that. As seen on the TV, it's Mike Morton. No idea, but there's Top of the Pops. And is it just me, or did, I, did they like to put, um... <laughs> well, see for yourself. What do you make of that? This is from the 70s, by the way. I think. This is Top of the Pops. Crazy horses. Wow, wow. Something like that, anyway. Uh... Copyright on this. There is. It doesn't say what date. <laughs> oh well. Might say that on the disc itself. Here's another one. Smash hit 75. a bit uh, risque, isn't it? <laughs> Who needed top shelf porn mags when you can go and buy a record? <laughs> anyway, those two monitors I'm going to try and give away because I don't need them. If I can't get them given away then I'll take them down to the recycling centre and chuck them in one of the uh, in the um, bin for uh, monitors and TVs and things. Right, I'm mostly busy in the kitchen. The washing up, done. Uh, that worktop's clean. That one's clean. So I've just got up the end there to do, the cooker to do, and then I can do the floor. There's no point doing the floor first, because obviously anything I wipe off of the worktop's going to hit the floor. So you do the worktops first, then the floor. Something still stinks in here. Yeah, this kitchen is the untidiest room here. Even the decor's had it. It really needs repainting in here the most. It's not so bad everywhere else, but it's just, actually it's here in the hallway that really need it. Although the woodwork, I've never done in the hallway. That never got done. My brother was doing the painting for me, and uh, he never returned <laughs> to do the painting anyway. So, oh well. Right, so, as I'm likely to be out tomorrow, I don't think I'll continue with the cleanup tomorrow. Probably not Sunday, because I'll likely be over Mum's again, stupidly early. I did go to QD's to look for some paints, but they only had one can of blue, and I want to paint it blue. They only had one fucking can. Uh, pink, yellow, orange, red, black and two different greens, one gloss, one not gloss which were two different shades as well for some reason of course they had black, gold, silver as well one can of primer as well which ain't no good <sighs> so I've had to put that off until I get some in so I think I'll want at least four blue I've got a can of primer here but I don't know if I should mix brands I'd want at least three or four primers as well. Which if I get four, if there's anything left over, then I could use it to touch something up with, couldn't I? So, it would be no great loss. Uh, I've got black. That's not an issue. I had plenty of black there. Shitloads of black and everything else, just not the two cans I want. This 
is what it does, look. Anyone that owns a cat probably gets the same thing. And it's no wonder cat owners end up accidentally standing on their bloody cats. Because they're dumb and decide to flop down right in front of their feet. Right, I had two accounts. Right, two accounts. Add me on Skype. Lisa Dares and Sadie Larson. Right. And I've been replying with complete random bollocks. Right, it says there, she first sends, I was looking for you, where are you from? So I replied, Jupiter. And then she, this, um, person replied, hey, who is this? So I put Bill Gates. And then the reply was, sorry, just trying to remember so many people message me on here, it's hard to keep track, lol. My reply was cool, their reply was, so what do you like to do for fun? I'm into all kinds of weird stuff, lol. So I just put, I'm an astronaut. <laughs> Have you ever tried sexting before? It's even more fun when you don't know the other person. Ha ha, sorry, I'm weird. There we go. That solves that problem. Can't be asked. I was playing around, but I can't be asked now. <sighs> right, we better grab your food, boy. Put you some meaty chunks in your dish, and I'm going to make up some sandwiches. Pour a fresh drink as well. Get a couple from that pack put in there. That is the third trash bag in two days. Three days? Something like that. Which is unlike me, I usually throw one out a week and I've actually thrown three out this week. So yeah, I have actually got rid of quite a lot of crap, but uh, it still feels cluttered, I don't get it. Maybe I'm not getting ruthless enough. I haven't even had a chance to do a video. For the Lego channel, for one, I haven't had no room to fart in here, let alone do anything else. So I'm behind on that channel. <sighs> I haven't even had any sets to do a review of. I still haven't made that Lego set, the Technic one. Oh boy. Um, maybe Monday I'll clear the shelf and I can do something. For the Lego channel, at least. I've gained some more subbies, so it would be nice to get something done in that town, to be honest. Oh, shit. Right. My loaf of bread I'm keeping in here for the simple reason it's too warm to keep it out. And it will uh, go off a lot quicker. Okay, did I put my chicken? Yes, I did. I didn't worry for a second, I didn't put my chicken roll in here. Put that up there. Um, no date on this, because it's been in there for a while. Although it tastes like vinegar. Um. Ow. Bounced the door off my foot. Actually, I might just say fuck it and just not have any sauces or anything. I don't really want to um, risk it as I'm going out tomorrow. And there's toilets there, but, you know, I do not want to take a crap in a sweat box. Because that's what those fucking portaloos are. 
during some of their sweat box. Mm. More washing up could be better. Maybe I should invest in the dishwasher. This was amazing, you can't be asked to get a small plate. <laughs> Actually, I've only got one small plate, I shattered one accidentally. Well, I did, I, only, I put a plate down on this worktop, and it made a weird noise when I put it down, so I picked it up and just put it down again, and it just shattered. <laughs> so there must have been a weak spot or a hairline crack or something in it. It's not like I slammed it down on the worktop either, I just went like that. I just put the plate on the worktop and it sort of made a tink sound, I thought, that don't sound right. So I picked it up and I just went, and it just went crack. Yes, boy, you got yourself some meat. I got you some meat, actually. Already had some of that flavour. Let's get you something different. And to keep the flies off of it, I stick this in the fridge as well. Otherwise, A, it starts to stink, and B, flies come along and lay their fucking eggs in it. And I wouldn't eat something with many flies' eggs in it, so I don't see why I should allow my cat to eat it. And I'm not one of these people that would feed their pets bloody crap and stuff that I wouldn't eat. If I wouldn't eat it, that my pets don't eat it. It's simple. <laughs> well, I wouldn't eat cat food anyway, but you know what I mean. I wouldn't eat something with fly eggs or something the flies have been on, so... Awesome Lego beach, isn't it? I bet there's no beach out there that can beat being this untidy. <laughs> Right, wall plugs down there. Yeah, I'll find a home for that. <sighs> Why am I such a messy bastard? Oh well, I'm going to end the video here because uh, I'm not going to be doing much else tonight. Um. Mm. I'm kicking my boots off in a bit as well. Yeah, nothing's going on on Facebook. It's quiet everywhere tonight, to be honest. Really, really quiet. Good. I found a couple of fucking parts. Something just fell out of my teeth. Might be a bit of chicken from the chicken I ate. I ate it. I ate some chicken, I did. I ate some chicken. One go will fade out like any other fad. When people get bored of it, because they do eventually, once you complete a game, you sort of get bored of them, don't you? I mean, I haven't played GTA in ages. I've been on the PS3 in ages. I can't get up the corner again. <laughs> right, I'm going to end the video. So, tomorrow. 
The weather forecast is said it's supposed to be nice and sunny and highs of 24 degrees centigrade. Or Celsius, if you prefer. Uh, fuck knows what that is. In Fahrenheit, probably 80-something Fahrenheit. Well, I know when it was hitting... Thirty three, thirty four degrees. I did a conversion and that came out to ninety two degrees F, so I suppose twenty four you're probably yeah, you're probably looking at about eighty odd degrees Fahrenheit. So comfortable for me anyway. I can I can tolerate that sort of heat. So I'm not fast. I might take one of them yellow dusters with me so I've got a bit um a sweat rag. So I'm not having to stand there going like this. Mm -hmm. uh, so let's so hope I find some goodies. I hope I can sell this poxy racer. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching, and I will. Probably talk to you tomorrow night, as I'll be out most of the day, and probably out most of the day Sunday. So, yeah. Bye.